Welcome back guys to Hearts of Iron 4 as the Soviet Union. And over the break I have been, uh, well, making sure that our borders look a little bit nicer. So for example, all of Italy is now under our control, except for this little province right here, but that is technically still under Italian control. But as soon as we take that over, uh, we will be the actual controller of that uh, province, which is very nice. Actually, I'm pretty sure I've told all of you guys to attack here. Uh, just make it a little bit faster, thank you. And um, also, our armor division is pushing forward here, and I think once we take Palermo, that's going to be enough to make Italy capitulate. They're very close already, and there's a couple more victory points that we can grab along the way. We have Messina, Palermo, as well as one over here, which I don't know, Taranto. Once those, are fa those fall, I'm pretty sure that Italy will capitulate, um, which is awesome. Now, um, also, we are closing into Istanbul right here, and... Yugoslavia has accepted, yes, okay, we're getting more occupations, that's fine. Um, we're cleaning out these provinces right here, and we're closing in on uh, Istanbul. Actually, we've already taken Istanbul, it's basically just crossing the river here, and we're also just making sure to get, get uh, all of these provinces that are left, uh, that have been previously conquered by the Italians, but are now my lands. Uh, well, not my, technically, but Turkish, and, and Turkish obviously are a puppet of me. Anyways, so uh, let's see how things are going right here. We're actually losing. This was kind of expected, but I have plenty more men rushing forward uh, to deal with this. I don't know if we actually have a front line here. We might not, actually. France is going to deal with, the, with their forces over there, and uh, yeah, we've landed in, in the Soviet, or not in the Soviet Union, we landed in Japan, and it just wasn't as successful as I hoped. We lost 20 paratroopers because we landed on the head of an army and got destroyed. So I think what we're gonna have to do is just somehow capture a second victory point with these troops that we have right now, but it's difficult. It's really difficult. I don't know how else I'm supposed to crack Japan. Maybe they will have like nothing down here. It's possible. We actually have built an airport here. Um, I've started building that a long time ago. It's finally done. So we can actually try and start a paratrooper invasion down here as well. We actually have some vision of this right now. Okay, so they have people here. Well, that's the problem though. That's the problem. I would actually need to take this over. Nagasaki, they have a nice port there. But that's that seems unlikely. So Japan is most likely going to be the one. Uh, the one pain in the ass that will stay into in this war for as long as possible. Um, well, there's not really much I can do about it though. Anyway, uh, you guys have been doing all kinds of weird shit. Um, how about you, all of you, just just give me that. Just just give me that. Alright? I guess, I suppose, you guys are enough to take care of them. I mean, they're out of supplies, they're just chilling there. Uh, we have the anti-capitalist diplomacy now finished. I wonder if there's anything we can really go for, I doubt it. Yeah, because we're still stuck in that offensive war. So there's nothing we can do with our points, at least... We cannot go for a national focus for a while. We will be able to pick some up later on, but just at this moment, there's not much we can go for. Awesome. Now, I could ask oh, for control over this one uh, little province here from Yugoslavia, but I, I think I'm just going to skip that. Uh, Italy will capitulate anyways, um, so it doesn't really matter. We just need to make sure that we are able to cross this street. That might be difficult enough. But yeah, I'm basically just going to send in everyone that I have. Um, and hopefully that will be enough. Now these guys, okay, we've successfully defeated our enemies here, so that that means I can actually send you guys to the southern front once that has all been done. Um, but please, before you do that, uh, you capture... You cannot capture this. Okay, that's strange. It says it has a, cr a straight crossing. That's pretty strange. Whatever. You can take that. Um, then you can go there. And I guess the Yugoslav forces, you will be able to... I'll send you here as well. Because you can just have a front line here as well. And push. Just push. Give me stuff. Yeah. There we go. And you give me that as well. Just push forward into Africa. It's not really hugely it's not hugely important but kind of and they are able to attack it I'm not able to attack them that's a little bit annoying but oh well I guess that's the way it's supposed to be 
If I abandon this, I'm pretty sure some of these people are actually going to take it. Hmm. Whatever, uh, we're actually finally pushing forward. Yeah, I've sent enough men. I basically just sent enough people in here. Okay, we're going to be able to crush them here in Messina. Uh, is that enough to... This might actually already be enough to crack Italy. But Palermo will definitely do the trick. If Messina is not enough, Palermo will be enough. Uh, you, I did send you forward to Palermo. Okay, so yeah, they will just break through. Uh, but it's not even necessary. Italy will capitulate in the end of today. There it goes. Joseph Stalin has announced that the cowardly Italian nation could no longer withstand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of Soviet forces throughout the country. The Italian government chose to flee the country and has gone into exile. The main forces have capitulated and Soviet units now in control of their home area. Uh, though the war against what remains the Axis continues elsewhere, this is a great victory for all of the Comintern. Great news indeed. So now all we need to do is finish off these these guys. Yeah, destroy them here um, and that's that's fine. Then we can basically leave and do other things with our with our troops go here go here i guess i don't know these 28 can go here immediately it doesn't matter um we're just gonna win okay what is my participation we have the united kingdom at 23 percent i'm at 41 it should be way more than that it simply should be way more than that we're not actually getting any more points for occupation, it seems. Uh, slowly but surely. Alright, that's fine. As long as I have the most points, I'm happy. We also have this. Uh, Yugoslavia, do you want to give me control over any other state? Maybe Zara. They actually decided to give me control over Albania, which I f find funny somehow. I don't know why, but... Uh, that's nice. It, it probably doesn't look good. I should have not accepted, but I did anyway. Now, the Netherlands, they said they would give me control of the Rhineland, but then they decided otherwise. That's fine. I don't really need it. But I need to um, think about what I'm going to do with my troops now. I will probably uh, have you guys... Yeah, well, what I'm going to have you do... Probably... Set up a border here? I suppose, yeah, I guess, uh, because Romania might be the next one we're going to have to fight. So there you go. I have you guys probably just uh, garrison Rome and maybe three provinces here. That's fine. And you, my mobile division, I guess we'll have you here in Venice. Don't really know what else to do with you guys, seriously. All right. And you, you can just push. If you can. I hope you can. Well, you are just standing there. Okay, the Turkish front, I want you to go here. And you guys, I want you to be here. You should be able to move. Not exactly sure what they're waiting on. But now, we need to focus on our Japanese front. This is the most important. And, okay, we lost. Damn. That's not cool. The problem is, I never get to actually start my people. I never get to, you know, put them right here. I want them to spawn here so I can start the naval, uh, the, the paratro paratrooper invasion immediately. Give them some dude, it doesn't matter. And I want to paratroop from here to here. And I want to do that now. Please start. <sighs> Okay, so now they're defeating us. The problem is that we lost this. With this, we at least had some supply. Now we don't have any. I don't know where you're running to. You just, you're just dying. Oh, wow. Okay. We just... Yeah, it, the problem is we don't have any supplies. And these guys seem to be going here without any organization whatsoever. Although now, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, they have some organization. Now, the problem is they drop with no organization. And then they're supposed to somehow miraculously fight. I still don't know how we've gotten this. But it's definitely bad that we've lost it. And we're losing even more. Man. How is it? How is it? How are we supposed to take over Japan? It's impossible. It's impossible to take over Japan. What the fuck? And you guys gotta fucking move. Can I not let... Like I cannot send you here. Can I have a naval... <gasps> I'm an idiot. I can naval invade this. Oh my god. God. Oh my god. Alright, yeah, that's what I should have done. 
That's what I should have done. Why is this naval... This is not a valid... You gotta fuck a move. Yes. These ten people. Can you... Go in here. Yes, I see. Ah... Uh... All right, that was the f that was my fault. That was what I've always done wrong. Ah oh, man. All right, I really got to focus on this because this is incredibly strange to do. It's actually not that difficult, but I still Yeah, and you you can delete that order because until you've arrived, it's already way too late. Can you move? Thanks. All right, you I will power drop from here. I will power drop you well, where will I paratrop you? They have people here. Hmm. I'll try this. We'll see how it goes. Most likely, though, we'll basically just sacrifice forces. We'll see how it goes. But I've sacrificed a lot of troops this way. Alright, just go for this. Um, okay, eight people. Uh, with no organization. I wonder how quick we're going to get it. Alright, so these are ten people. Is that enough to attack? Tohoku? No. But... You might be able to take over some more provinces. If I let you. Okay, just keep him busy. That's fine. Okay, okay, okay. That being said, we still have 10 divisions here. That are somewhat just getting annihilated. Alright, alright. And we're now being attacked. Damn it. Ah, this is not the way I wanted it. Not cool. I think, you know what? Here's, here's what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to build a couple paratroopers, like maybe a hundred, and then I'll just drop them all over the place. Otherwise, this is not really going to work out. And these guys are all just all gone. It seems like. Okay. Hmm. We're just going to have to paratroop troopers all over the place, because it, otherwise it cannot crack the Japanese. Okay, so that uh, I will have to do somewhat later, because that's simply frustrating. All the men I've I've lost so far. Alright, so uh, I'm going to put a cut in here. Thank you guys uh, so much for watching so far. And uh, I'll be back in a second once we are hopefully able to uh, invade the Japanese. And until then, I'm just going to, you know, conquer some African lands. But anyways, I'll see you guys in a second. So welcome back, guys. I've been going forward quite some time. Well, maybe just a couple of months. But I, I can't really wait anymore. I, I just want to go forward with my invasion here so uh we can immediately actually start a naval invasion here with 10 marines uh, that i've uh made ready so that we can attack and we also have 20 paratroopers right here uh whom i'm going to actually power drop hmm where should i power drop them probably over here um yeah I think we'll have paratroopers here, we'll have a naval invasion there, and I have some more paratroopers that are on their way uh, to this uh, well, South Korean airfield, and from them, uh, we actually have a, yeah, we have 60 transport planes, from here we're going to also paradrop into the south, and we'll just try and attack from all sides, we also will then uh, go for a naval invasion from, from over here, I am uh, in increasing my landing craft capabilities here, here or my in invasion uh, capabilities um so we'll see how things go i can only hope that we at the very least get these two victory points because then we might be able to survive long enough to actually push and take over this port and then we can start to finally rush into japan it's really not more than that we just need this uh, the bottleneck here is still going to be very difficult to deal with but i'm having I i'm kind of confident actually that this will work um if we get this under control, which is a big if, because so far we have failed. Now we're actually uh, running low on supply over here, simply because we have so many units here. Um, I built about 40, 40 marines, no I built 24, 24 marines and about 42 uh, new paratroopers. So um, obviously I should probably make sure 
that my paratroopers actually drop because otherwise this whole thing is pointless. Okay, so my paratroopers, my paratroopers have parachuted, and I will immediately send you guys to to take this and you to take this. Yes, that's the plan. There we go. So there's no enemies over here just yet, and we're sending more people. And um, you, one guy, grab this, please. You grab this and see how things are going this time. More paratroopers will parachute their way over here. Yes, it's just that the thing is, we might not have enough people. Uh, we, we, well, we will have enough people, but I, I wonder if we're actually going to be able to supply all of this. Most likely, we won't be. Okay, let's see if we can go ahead and get rid of some... Okay, never mind. I thought we had to get rid of these things, but no, they stopped themselves. Okay, now these marines are fully organized, so I hope that this will be enough three days to arrive in the next province. That's a long time. That's a real long time. Um, and I guess I'll send you guys over here. Yeah, since no one was going there. Just make your way forward. Obviously, this river is not helping. I'm not sure if my marines actually have a have an advantage when, across, when attacking across rivers. Uh, they might be. They might have, but yeah, I'm not too sure. Um, now, these guys are going to make their way over here, and we'll start a second naval invasion, obviously, but also we'll start... Um, yeah, you can start here, select the naval invasion, and I want you to invade this. This, right there. Yes. Please all do it. Seven divisions, that's fine. Actually, no, I want this entire thing to be part of it. Yes, uh, whatever, we'll do that later. Um, nope, okay, in that case, we'll, we'll stop. We'll have to wait. The entirety needs to attack and try and take this. Yes, 10 divisions, that should be plenty. It'll take a while, about 70 days, to get these guys ready. But that's fine. Okay, 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 okay. So, how are we going to do this? Are we going to do this? I think we need to attack, and you guys need to take Ashi Ashigawa. We're winning by 70%. Oh my god, this is... If we take both of this over, that would be amazing. Um, I wonder... I mean, we're making progress. If this is... We have a decryption advantage, whatever. Um, they lost their commander. We have a really good commander, a hill fighter, and a mountaineer. Not sure if that really helps across this river, um, but yeah, we shall see. You move forward, and we shall uh, defeat these guys. We'll try anyway. Our organization is just very low for our paratroopers here. Now, let's see if I can go for... I already have the amphibious assault guy, um, amphibious in invasion speed. Is there anything else? Chief of Air Force, don't need any of that. How about a chief of army? Army drill, army reformer, experience gain, um, division training time. Could be useful, but I think the experience gain is kind of a little bit more important. But what I do want to go for instead is actually go for limited export or closed economy. Um, one of the okay, that means what's going to happen? I don't know what that what that does. This gives you factory output, research time, all kind of stuff. So this will just not, but this will give me all my resources, so I don't have to trade anymore. We'll have a closed economy. There you go. Because I hate having to trade all my shit away. So I have tons of surplus. I have a surplus here. We import about 80, so we can stop importing some of this steel. Um, so let's actually go ahead and go like that. And we are importing... I think that's fine. This is okay. Yeah, we shall see. Well, a lot of this is still being exported, which is obviously not... Okay, we don't need this. So, stop the imports. Um, actually, we do need some imports here as well. Okay, that's interesting. Don't know why. I don't think I need any rubber, but whatever. And tungsten. I don't have... I don't need anything, yeah. Don't know why it says I need rubber from these guys. I don't think I do, so let's just do it like that. Oh no, we, de we do need some stuff, I see, okay. Well, there we go then. Let's get some rubber from the Netherlands. Apparently that's what we truly need. Alright, um, 71%. Come on guys, you can do it. My marines are much stronger than these paratroopers. 
they actually suck quite a lot of balls. Um, it just takes so long for them to move. That's what I find so strange. But yeah, I've actually beefed up these paratroopers quite a bit. Uh, not the paratroopers, but the marines. Um, let me have a quick look at my uh, divisions here. So these guys actually have some artillery. And they have a lot of support equipment as well. I could probably go ahead and give them more artillery as well. I probably will do that. Yes. Just make them really beefy. And save that. There you go. And w let's have a quick look at the paratroopers. They don't have any artillery. So they are weaker. Still, I think that that's, that's the right thing to go for. And um, Now, we have a couple of people at actually attacking. Mm, I'd rather have you go forward. And 11 of my... Oh, we're being attacked by their marines, I see. Okay. Well, as long as we encircle them, I don't really mind. So they have some marines standing there as well. And they are... They were trying to attack us, but they failed. All right. Now, I'm not sure how quickly we want to get our organization back. I've been, obviously... I've continued down the, um, the research tree, our large front of offensive this will actually give us more organization to our infantry so hopefully that will help we shall see more more of you guys hmm all right so you 10 are planning i cannot let more people plan we'll have 20 paratroopers that i could send somewhere and then we'll have 24 more marines once we are actually able of landing more more troops at the same time will be able to have them invade as well But yeah, it seems like these Marines are actually doing a much better job. You know what I could do now that you guys have paratrooped <gasps> Oh, okay Now, I, you know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make you into regular infantry. I think that works doesn't it does that work? I Don't know if that actually works. It might be if I make you regular infantry now You should be fighting better, shouldn't you? I think so. We'll, we'll, we'll test that out, actually. Because that would be... That would be genius. Because <gasps> we landed with paratroopers, and then I just say, you're no longer paratroopers. You're now other people. I don't know why this guy already ran out of organization, but he did. What are you guys doing? No, I don't want you to do that. Stop this. Attack. I don't know why they stopped attacking. Because we're winning. Stop the attack. Okay, finally things are... <gasps> oh my god, it's win we're winning. We're actually winning. It's basically just because my paratroopers were shit. Yes, we're going to do it. Oh my god. You take that shit. You take that shit. Oh, glorious. Alright, guys. Okay, so now I think this is how we're going to do it. Basically, Marines were just stronger. And I guess my paratroopers just sucked overall. But... Um, now, I think we're finally able to uh, invade Japan. And you know what? I will actually do it off camera a little bit. You have seen that it is possible. And um, I'll come back next time when we're ready to make them capitulate. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.